leader, no doubt about it. Whoa! It's right there, man. Right there, look at that! The Farm Machinery Show Championship Tractor Pull, and here we are on Friday night in Louisville, Kentucky, and we're just about ready to go here. But before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, and in all the shows, we'd like to take this opportunity, if we could, to introduce to you the gentleman that uh, represents Zenig Ag Products, and kind of responsible as the main sponsor here for the Tractor Pull. Let's give a big Louisville and Freedom Hall welcome to Mr. Jeff Kazizik from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Well, Jeff, we're really happy to be with you again tonight, and uh, another great tractor pull last night and on Wednesday night, and we got lots of hot iron waiting out there today, but let's talk about the booth today, how things go over at the uh, Zeneca booth today. Let's talk about a couple of those new products right now. You know, the farmers here, uh, we always have all the banners around, but maybe they just don't know what's going on. Let's talk about a couple of them. Catchy name, I'll tell you that right for sure. That sounds good. What else you got going? Jeff, it seems to me that Zeniga continues to bring more and more products out to help the farmer, and I'll tell you what, that's just nothing but be better progress for the guys. Yes, that's right, folks, and we're still coming with some more. We hope to have a new product in a couple weeks through the EPA. Is that a new, new surprise for everybody coming up? All right. Jeff, as always, we really appreciate you guys, everything that Zeneca does here for the tractor pull. And uh, we got, this is our third show here of the week. We got two more to go, and I hope to have you down here with us, the other two. Thank you, Bruce. We're looking forward to it. Anything you want to say, and give that little catchy title you've been giving out every night here, let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Jeff Kazizik a nice round of applause. How about it? Jeffrey, thank you very much. All right, my sidekick for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, from Louisville Motor Speedway, coming to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Scott will be the other announcer here, and we are certainly glad to have Frank along with us here for the 1996 poll. Welcome, Frank. Well, Butch, it's great to be back in Louisville, Kentucky, and Freedom Hall. You say, well... You're, you're from Louisville. Well, just, just uh, less than 24 hours ago, I was down in the 71 degree temperature of Daytona Beach, Florida for Speed Week's activities. I heard about the World Championship tractor pulls here tonight in Freedom Hall. I hopped me a jet and got back here because I know the excitement's going to be in an all-time level. Oh, you better believe it. Well, folks, it's that time right now to get ready to go. Let's meet the competitors here tonight of our fine three classes here this evening at Louisville. And I think we're going to start on this side over here tonight. We'll start out with the 10,200-pound Pro Stock Tractor Drivers. And up number one out of Tuscola, Illinois, driving Gang Green, here's Lance Little. From Greenfield, Indiana, driving Night Moves, Carl Smith. And out of Grandview, Indiana, the Tinker Toy, here's Don Masterson. From Mount Carmel, Illinois, driving the Buck Eater, Mike Nepper. From Westfield, Indiana, driving the MF Express, and the driver is Jeff Rodenbush. And from Romeo, Michigan, driving the One Bad Apple, here's Jeff Rapp. And out of Jerseyville, Illinois, the spoiler, here's Bruce Skinner. From Warren, Illinois, driving Fulish Pleasure, Gary Brinkmeyer. And out of Richland, Indiana, the Green Extreme, Mike Sarver. From Winnemac, Indiana, driving the Case 1070, the driver's Doug McKinley. From Jamestown, Ohio, and the Alice Challenger, Shelly Bryan. And from Edison, Ohio, here's Mike Linder. 
Well, making her return to Louisville, Kentucky, we're certainly glad to see this young lady. She's purchased a new tractor, formerly known as the Snake. And Sue Ellen, at this time, before I introduce you, as I introduce you, I'd like you to direct your attention to 333. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a nice round of applause to Sue Ellen Oswald right there. She's from Hartstown, Pennsylvania. All right. And her tractor is known as the Keystone Cop. All right, here we go now. From La Crosse, Wisconsin, driving storm, here's Dennis Scams right there. Out of Osco, Illinois, ace in the hole, Jerry Ro Runau. Jerry Runau. And last but not least, out, rounding out this outstanding field from Homeworth, Ohio, the Soup Line Express, Randy Campbell. Let's give the 10,200-pound pro stock drivers a nice round of applause. Okay, we'll move along to the 7,200-pound modified tractor class. And from Sydney, Ohio, driving the Bionic Buzzard, and the driver is Jan Schmeising. From Northwood, Ohio, driving the Rat Poison, and the driver is Brian Diekman. From Warsaw, Kentucky, driving the Kentuckian, Wayne Sullivan. From Lowell, Ohio, driving the Pioneer, here's Dave Archer. From Taylorville, Illinois, the Predator, here's Doug Downs. And out of Akron, Ohio, driving the Dragon Lady, here's Dusty Arfons. From Cambridge, Iowa, driving the River Rat, here's Wayne Longnecker. From Stonington, Illinois, driving the Money Pit, Steve Bollinger. And from New Haven, Indiana, driving the Kodiak, In-Laws and Outlaws, Jim Brockman. And out of Bonnie, Illinois, here's Rodney Martin. From Ravenna, Ohio, driving the Predator, Mike Monreal. Out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, the Knipstein pulling team, here's Judy Knipstein. And from New Baden, Illinois, driving the track fever, here's Kevin Furking. And from Marion, Indiana, driving the Twister, Scott Tedler. Folks, let's give our 7,200-pound modified tractor drivers a nice round of applause. And the final class of the evening will be the 6,200-pound two-wheel drive super modified trucks. Up number one out of Malston, Wisconsin, driving the Irish Challenger. Here's Dan Walsh. Out of Bardstown, Kentucky, making his first appearance driving here at Louisville, driving Jamie's Revenge, here's Jamie Mattingly. From Paris, Illinois, the long-gone machine, here's Don Finney. From Circleville, Ohio, driving the Missouri Raider, and the driver is Richard McPherson. From Nicholasville, Kentucky, driving Bulletproof, here's David Poor. From Midway, Kentucky, driving the rare breed, Daryl Varner. Out of Churubusco, Indiana, driving the Hustler, here's Don Daffhorn. Out of Weldon, Illinois, his first appearance indoor, driving the Dirt Slinger, here's Shannon Leishner. Out of Litchfield, Kentucky, it's showtime, David Richardson. From Alverton, Pennsylvania, driving the flashback, and the driver's Jeff Hoff. From Warsaw, Kentucky, driving the young gun, Donnie Sullivan. From Lothian, Maryland, driving the meat wagon, the second, Sabrina Stockett. And out of Rockford, Ohio, former champion, driving Golden Thunder, here's John Heilman. Out of Charlotte, North Carolina, it's tea time, Jimmy Johnson. Out of Dublin, Ohio, driving the yellow model T, here's Wayne Roush. And pulling last in this outstanding field from Glasgow, Kentucky, driving Willie he Make It, it's Ricky Long. Let's give our 6,200-pound two-wheel drive super-modified trucks a nice round of applause. All right, ladies and gentlemen.
Okay, and a very special thanks going out to our equipment sponsors tonight, John Deere and Company and Wayne Supply Company. Well, I don't think we've got any many mows or much more, but here we go. Up number one, Lance Slittle, Tuscola, Illinois, the gang green John Deere. He's up number one here. Comes out of the pulling team out of the, city, out of the state of Illinois, and let's see what happens here. The John Deere's were very tough last night here in Freedom Hall. We'll find out what they got for him as our first competitor comes off the starting line. Let's give him a nice round of applause. John Deere Green, folks, right there. Lance Little, Tuscola, Illinois, with Kang Green. Good run. 228.26, 228 228.26 for Lance Little. All right, we're ready for night moves now. On the line, Carl Smith out of Greenfield, Indiana. His case IH Magnum here on the line. Let's watch him get ready to go to work here. Carl Smith and night moves. there. How about an international people? Let's give him a nice round of applause. Oh yeah, good run. Five eight for Carl Smith. Two three two point five eight for Carl Smith out of Greenfield, Indiana, with nine, the night moves. Turbocharger, and let's see what happens now as he comes to the line. Good run, just too light on the nose. And you saw when he left the starting line, he knew he was in trouble, boy. I'll tell you, it leveled out a little bit, but not like he would have liked it to. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, folks? Don Masterson. 210.99 for Don Masterson and the Tinker Toy. Our fourth entry, Mike Nepper. Set to go. And it looks as though the track is clear. Mike Nepper. All right, Nepper ready to go. Here he comes now. The Buck Eater on the starting line. And right there. Laverne Nepper's Buck Eater, Sun Mike driving tonight. He makes a nice run. 120.77. 220.77 for Mike Nepper and the Buck Eater. So that moves him into the top three now. Guys, the bat liners, maybe they want to talk to him about it. Here we go, Jeff Radabush. So the Radabush machine, right there. Just a little bit light on the nose. And tell you what, this track is tough this year to guess where you should be at. I'll tell you that right now. 8.94, 198.94 for Jeff Radabush, the MF Express. Louisville, Kentucky tonight. Well, it looks like the course is clear. And we're ready to go with Jeff Rapp out of Romeo, Michigan.
one bad apple, what can I say? Well, he had a good run going. Unfortunately, he had to uh, get on the binders. And uh, as he came to the right side of the track, he had to get on the binders. And that kind of slowed him up a little bit. But I'll tell you, he made a nice run. That, that uh, international ran super, super good. 4-2. 216.42 for Jeff Rapp. One bad apple out of the great state of Michigan. I'd like to see some John Deers get involved here. No doubt about it. There's Bruce Skinner, Jerseyville, Illinois driver. Oh, ouch. Well, are you ready for the standard salute? Here we go. Here it comes. Yes, sirree. Friday night, Louisville, Kentucky, bang on the starting line. Folks, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? What do you say? Unfortunate situation here. Of course, all the international fans are just laughing their you know what's off, no doubt about it. I think it's just funnier than heck, but the guy came a long way. He's probably worked the last three or four weeks getting that tractor ready, and unfortunately, it let him down on the starting line tonight. going I'll tell you he had an excellent run going and right at the last minute the boost just went down on him he just couldn't hold it there I'll tell you but he's going to shake the order up let's give him a nice round of applause how about it you international people what do you say yeah 124.80 224.80 for Gary Brickmeyer and Fulish Pleasure off the line just about any time now Well, I don't know whether he chose the wrong gear or what, just to get the RPMs up, but uh, it was a nice run, though. I mean, it's good, straight, clean. Uh, how about it, folks? Let's give him a nice round of applause. What do you say, Mike Sarver? Not going to shake the order up, but he made a clean run. He didn't break. Everything's fine, and he'll come back. Well, unlike the uh, previous two or three tractors before him, he chose to use the center portion of the course. And just as you mentioned, Butch, perhaps maybe that right-hand side may be a little more uh, in the traction category there. What do you think? 6-1 right, for Mike Sarver. Right over there. Section 234. Okay. Well, they'd like to see him put it in the sand, no doubt about it. They'd probably go absolutely crazy. Okay, the course is clear, and it looks like he's building up some RPMs. We're ready to go. All right. Big old 1070 right there makes this run. You know, Zenigo, one of the largest chemical companies in the world, is proud to support motorsports and the National Farm Machinery Show Championship Tractor Pull. 0.57, 202.57 for Doug McKinley, the Case 1070. Good. Here comes Shelly right now on the line, ready to go. Shelly Bryan. How about it, gals in the audience? Let's give her a nice round of applause. She made a good run. Yeah, you better believe it. Shelly Bryan, Jamestown, Ohio. Good run. Bryan with the Alice Challenger. You know, uh, Butch, the Adept Cookie. I'm going to make a prediction right now. If he's on tonight, watch him go past the pylon. I don't think there'll be any doubt about it. 
These guys are computerized. At least they used to be. I think they still are. Let's see what they do now. What happens to the John Deere? Here comes the Linda Brothers. question did he go out or not super super how about it over on that side of the arena did he make it out of here i don't know we'll go up here and look real quick see how close he is to the pylon it's five two twenty seven point six five for mike linder All right, it puts Mike in the number three spot, so he goes number three. Now that's gonna bump. Let's see, that's gonna move down. Let me get my calculation straight here. Um, Gary Brinkmeyer, with foolish pleasure, is the guy on the bubble now. They're taking him out of the arena. He is currently on the bubble. He could become a study to be a lawyer, and she is now a lawyer. So, but here we come now. On the line, Sue Ellen Oswald out of Hartstown, Pennsylvania. So let's see what happens with the lady here. How about it, gals? Let's give her some encouragement. What do you say? The snake hair and everything, you girls in the audience. Hey, believe me, this gal knows how to drive a tractor. Don't, don't take anything away from her. Here she comes. She was not satisfied with the start. So that sounds like the typical old snake here, though, man. The old engine way upstairs, and she backed out of it. They're going to take her back, and she'll get another chance. You get all the way up there in the top row at 336. Welcome to Freedom Hall. Right there, folks. It's one of the first times she's hooked that tractor. And I'll tell you what, she was gung-ho off the starting line, no doubt about it. Let's give her a nice round of applause. How about it, Sue Ellen Oswald? And let's find out what, how far she pulled. If she beat 224, she goes on the bubble. I'll tell you. Looked like Sue Ellen came off the line seriously. Man, she had some uh, major intentions of getting past that full pull mark. 218.68 for Sue Ellen Oswald and the Sneaky Snake. It's Storm and Dennis Shams. Come on, Dennis. See what this Massey Ferguson will do. Big old 2805 right here. for the St. Joe Equipment Machine, that Massey Ferguson 2805. Pretty old Massey pulling in there. We'll check him out. And on the bubble, of course, was Gary Brinkmeyer at 224.50. 221.03 for Dennis Shams. And the tractor titled Storm. A tractor of Jerry Runow from Osco, Illinois. Right here, coming at you.
right there for that 44-55. The ace in the hole. I'd like to wish a happy birthday today to Christy Mercer, 12 years old. Happy birthday, Christy Mercer, 12 years old today. 204.26, 204.26 for Jerry Runow, driver of Ace in the Hole. John Deere people, your last chance here to get another one in. Let's give a nice round of applause, John Deere. What do you say? Let's get with the program. John Deere, John Deere. All right. Randy Campbell. Good chance here. He could do it, folks. The Soup Lion Express. Our 17th entry mile. tonight, Randy Campbell on the line, ready to turn it loose. And he quickly shuts her off, folks, right there. Man, oh, man, that's tough luck here tonight. Well, Louisville, he comes all the way from Homeworth, Ohio. He wanted to make a good showing for here tonight. Left the starting line good. Things went sour on that 42.50. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, folks? Randy, we're sorry about that, buddy boy. Randy Campbell from Homeworth, Ohio. 145.23 for Randy Campbell and the Soup Line Express. Now, we're going to set the distance to be here with our pylon. Whatever Lance Little goes here, we'll mark the front of the sled, and that will be the distance to beat in the competition here tonight in the 10,000-pound Pro Stock class. John Deere people stand up and be counted. How about my John Deere fans? Look at this over here. Yeah. What an excellent run. Lance Little to Scola, Illinois. As Photo Joe would say, Illinois, 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 Illinois. Right there. And the Carol and Joe, of course. Uh, I haven't messed with Joe very much this year. I've been too busy. I haven't had a chance to get over and see Joe and, and talk to him. I would like to, but uh, I just haven't had the opportunity to do that. And maybe one of these nights I'll get over and mess around with him some more. Right, Joe? Good seeing you, buddy boy. Where's your pigtail tonight, man? Kind of like that little addition there, you know? No problem. Okay, here's the official distance now for Lance Little, a 227.66. 227.66 for Lance Little. That's your winner. If it doesn't, the John Deere is the winner right here. All right, here we go. On the line, none other than, folks, Carl Smith and Night Moves out of Greenfield, Indiana. <laughs> Turbocharger. And let's see what happens now as he comes to the line. Good run, just too light on the nose. And you saw when he left the starting line, he knew he was in trouble, boy. I'll International people, stand up and be counted. Yes, sir. -y. Exclamation point.
Okay, in just a few moments, we'll have the trophy presentation for the top three finishers here in the 10,200-pound Pro Stock tractor class. The distance, incidentally, for Carl Smith, 230.06. Don Masterson's Tinker Toy. Finishing up at ninth, Shelly Bryan with the Alice Challenger. Finishing up in eighth place, Jeff Rapp with the One Bad Apple. Seventh place went to Sue Ellen Oswald with Sneaky Snake. Sixth place going out to Mike Nepper with the Buck Eater. Fifth place going out to Dennis Shams with Storm. And finishing up at fourth, Gary Brinkmeyer with the Fuelish Pleasure. Let's go down trackside to Butch Krieger for our top three finishers. All right, we want to talk to Carl Smith right here because we have some very special people here tonight. Carl Smith, congratulations on a nice run. Uh, thank, thank you, Butch. Uh, we were very fortunate we were able to put it together tonight. I'll tell you what, everybody was sure pulling for you. you got a lot of international people here in the crowd. And uh, the old night moves, I've seen it pull many times, and it looks like it just gets better all the time. Well, I'll tell you, we've been working hard. We struggled last summer, but uh, we're coming on. All right. Anybody you want to thank tonight? Well, I'll tell you, yes. Uh, I'll tell you, first, I want to thank my wife, Christy. All right. Uh, and then uh, Zeneca Products, I think we all remember them. If it wasn't for them, I'll tell you, it wouldn't be the show it is tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? What do you say? Carl Smith. And our trophy presentation tonight, we have our very special guest here tonight, the governor of the state of Kentucky, Mr. Paul Patton, of course. We have him with us tonight, Keen Clements, of course, with uh, Zenigag Products, Jeff Kazizi with Zenigag Products, and uh, Bill Kegel along here with the Kentucky State Fair Board. And we certainly are glad to hear, have our governor, Paul Patton, here with us tonight. All right, let's get Lance Little real quick here while we go on with this trophy presentation. Well, son, you can't be too upset. Not at all. I'll take uh, second behind Carl Smith any day of the week. What's the story on these John Deers? You guys must have uh, gone to work and just uh, put one thing, a big cross or a big X, I guess, through International, because you guys have just made a great show in here this weekend. Well, we finally spent some money here and got with the right people. There's some definite people I need to really thank for this run tonight. Uh, Mark Staub with Staub Machine, Columbus Diesel, Without these guys, Mark Corp tire cutting, uh, awesome. My brother Chris and my father and mother for, for helping me all through all this. It's really been a, a pleasure coming down here. It's an honor to be here. And of course, Seneca for the awesome track and, and pull they have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause. Your number two man, Lance Slittle out of Tuscola, Illinois. And we have one more to go. Our trophy presenters once again, the Honorable Governor Paul Patton. And we have uh, Keen Clements, Keen from Bardstown, Kentucky. And we have Jeff Kazizi got a Bowling Green representing Zeneca Ag Products. And we're so glad these guys are here with us tonight for the presentation. Well, Mr. Linder, nice run. I know you probably would like to have been up there, but you've you got to think about this. You're coming back tomorrow night. That's right, Butch, and we're really, really happy to be in that, have that opportunity. Certainly would like to thank the fair board down here for having this pool and Pro Stocks being part of it. Zeneca Products, certainly, for, for sponsoring the, the event with them. I'd like to thank uh, people that helped us get here, Mom and Dad, and Brother John, and, he, and uh, Columbus Diesel, HV Machine, and Riverside Engines. All right, and are you going to do anything different for, for uh, tomorrow night? you got a lot of checking to do, a lot of changes to make? Well, we got to check it over pretty good, and uh, we might turn a few screws. I'll go back and check that computer tape before the night's out? Oh, yeah. We're going to look that over hard. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause. Mike Linder and the Linder Brothers out of Ohio. Hey, Rod. How you doing? Good to see you. Thank you. 
set up number one, Jan Spising out of Sydney, Ohio. And he's got the twin. Got the Allison aircraft engine machine here. I thought he had two. He's only got one. Here we go. And quickly, his son sees the problems, and they jump out there and tell him to hold up. Evidently, some problems on the tractor. And we're going to have to take him back. Quickly. Schmeising out of Sydney, Ohio. Big number two in the Ohio State Fair in August. And uh, he pull, pulled all over the state of Ohio last year. And he's been pulling since 1972. And they started to have his boys join in. He's a former winner of the United States Hot Rod Association he, back in the 80s. And here comes Jan Spising. Well, I thought it was a twin, I'll tell you. The Bionic Buzzard. Twin Allison aircraft engines on the Bionic Buzzard. Two oh one point one seven for Jan Smizing. Two oh one point one seven. This will be the Dickman tractor, Brian Dickman out of Northwood, Ohio, in Rat Poison. Ride up, cowboy. Yes, sir. -y. Hey, made a nice run, no doubt about it. Brian Dickman. Good looking pull there by Brian Dickman out of Northwood, Ohio, the Rat Poison. And we'll get the official time, the official distance there in just a few moments. For 209.64. And that's the uh, distance for Brian Diekman out of Rat Poison. All right, here we go now with Wayne Sullivan, Warsaw, Kentucky. The Kentuckian. Tough, the Sullivan. So Wayne Sullivan shuts the two front motors off, and the rear motor will drive the tractor out of here, back to the area over here, as Sullivan has completed his run. Wayne Sullivan, Warsaw, Kentucky. Sullivan out of Warsaw, Kentucky, the Kentuckian. Rodak powered tractor. Okay, and the official distance is a 208.53. 208.53 for Wayne Sullivan and the Kentuckian. And they come at you. And the distance is a 217.19, 217.19.
Well, folks, that'll put him in the number one spot. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Doug Downs, folks. He goes in number one after that run. 217.19 puts him in the number one spot with Dusty Arfons. And Dusty likes to put a little fire and smoke show for you folks as she comes to the line. Now, she's going to start firing the left engine first, and then she'll go to the right side. And you will start to know when the engines fire because you will see the flame start to come out of the top of those L's, out of those stacks. You start to hear a sound like a being over at uh, Louisville International right now, doesn't it? All right. She's starting to fire them up now. She's got one engine going. The other engine's getting ready to come to life now. There we go. She's getting ready to start the other one, too. Now, like her father, she watches her gauges very, very closely. She makes sure everything is in order. And then you'll start to see the flames come out of those stacks. The second engine has now fired. There we go. Now, Dusty likes to rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock, roll. Rock and roll. Rock, roll. Rock, roll. Dusty Arfons. Now she's going to get down to business. Watch the wheel spin on this tracker as she leaves the starting line. Dusty Arfons. She went out of bounds, folks. She went out of bounds. Unfortunately for Dusty here tonight, she went out of bounds. Boy, she had a good run going. I know that much. That's no problem there. Just a little fuel up around the top of those stacks. That should be no problem whatsoever. And she has gone out of bounds. And it looks like the indication is the course is clear. We're ready to go with the river raft. Whoa, folks, what I tell you. A good run right there for the river raft. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, folks? Wayne Longnecker. Eight point six one for Wayne Longnecker and the River Rat. And here we come now with Schmeising, Jan Schmeising, Sydney, Ohio, on the line. there and Jan sits there frustrated folks absolutely frustrated after that run as we lost a block here obviously possibly lost some major parts here and um, Folks, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Jan Schmeising, ladies and gentlemen. Tough luck here tonight with the bionic buzzard, I'll tell you. Jan's all right, just a note of frustration on his face. That's all we can see. Absolute frustration.
Lowell, Ohio. Well, the Chevrolets respond. He makes a good run. And we most likely are going to change the order here. The Pioneer Chevrolet Cadillac out of Lowell, Ohio. And a great run. Two one six point four three for Dave Archer and the Pioneer. And Tony Martin. Those th four tractors are in the program. And up next is Steve Bollinger, Stonington, Illinois, and the Money Pit. Steve Bollinger squaring up now to the sled, and the indication is the course is clear. We're ready to go. Oh, yeah. We could have a new leader. Twin Allison. I'll tell you. And look at the group standing up over there. They're cheering for that Allison's, I'll tell you. It's another money pit right there. From Stonington, Illinois, Steve Bollinger. Five eight. 230.58 for Steve Bollinger in the Money Pit. Jim Brockman, in-laws and outlaws. Kodiak, sponsored entry. New Haven, Indiana driver. Our right, fifth now, entry. All right, now watch this guy. I'm telling you, he's going to be hammered down. It shows four engines, but only three engines are running. Only three. Only three engines are fired. So he's using the other one for weight. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa, man, oh man, what a shot. Butch, what if he had all four engines going? Oh man, he'd have been at point two two. 237.22 for Jim Brockman, in-laws and outlaws, Kodiak. This tractor looks a lot like a Tim Engler machine, the Mission Impossible. We've always talked about that. But here we go now with the Martin brothers on the line. The tractor with no name out of Bonnie, Illinois. And let's see what they do. Could have a new leader right here also. Hundred eight point six nine for Rodney Martin. Whoa, problems tonight with the DM pulling predator. Got to bounce it and got some serious problems there. And uh, I think oil went all over him, bounced out of the tank and went all over him, folks. I mean, this kid got a bath up here out of the fuel in that. So he shut it down immediately, a smart move. 
Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Mike Monreal. Mike, you all right? No problems. Everything's okay, all right? Hopefully, huh? Okay. Mike shut it off. He's smart move on his part to shut that tractor off, and he was having some major problems with it, and he shut her off, and that's a good move, I'll tell you. And we're real sorry about that for the Monreals tonight. The distance now for M Mike Monreal, 160.22, 160.22. Before that tractor noticeably got out of shape just over the halfway point of the course. gal was really hauling. Nine point five nine, two hundred nineteen and fifty nine for Judy Knipstein. Two one nine point five nine. Oh, Engler chassis, Engler homemade rear end. Here we come on the line right now with the machine of Kevin Ferking. One more to go, Scott Tedder out of Indianapolis or Marion, Indiana with the Twister. Butch, it looks like he's squaring up on the right-hand side of the course there, extremely off to the right. See what his strategy is. we can pull him out of here or not. A lot of oil and differential grease lay on the ground here, but we're going to check out. Yeah, it definitely looks like a, possibly a broken uh, rear end. We'll have to see. Three, 201.73 for Kevin Furking. And the track fever. Ohio and Kentucky and Michigan. He runs everywhere. Scott Tedder and the Twister. Scott Tedder out of Marion, Indiana, the Twister set to go. Steve Bollinger tractor, third to Wayne Longnecker, and let's see what the distance was here. Scott, I mean, uh, Frank, what you got? Yeah, the, the official distance for Scott Tedder was a 214.92. 214.92 for Scott Tedder. Well, the four spot that transfers will be Judy Knipstein out of Indiana. She will transfer to the number four on Saturday night here. Congratulations to Judy. Okay, Frank, go ahead and give that 10 through the rest of the run down there. Okay, taking a look at the top 10, Wayne Sullivan finishing up at 10th. At 9th, it was Rodney Martin. 
Finishing up at eighth, uh, Brian Diekman. And then at seventh place, it was Scott Tedder. Finishing up at sixth overall here, we have Dave Archer. And then at fifth place, Doug Downs. Fourth place will go out to Judy Nipstein. And the uh, top three will be presented their trophies, trackside, along with Butch Krieger, trackside, in just a few moments. Surprise, we were hoping to make the top five and to come out in this position was uh, really a pleasure. Well, you did really, really well, I'll tell you. You did an outstanding job here tonight. The, uh, a lot of the guys thought you were actually running four engines when you came up on the track. No, we, this is a three-engine class, and uh, front header pipes are uh, all plugged off, and Paul took the uh, coupler off today, so there would be no question about it. We we're only ran three. Well, we'll see you tomorrow night. Congratulations, great hook, and uh, outstanding run. Thank you very much. Uh, as you know, Paul Higgins, my crew chief, built this tractor last year and did a real nice job on it, and uh, actually all the credit goes to Paul. All right. Folks, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Jim Brockman. And gentlemen, we ask you to move in for the trophy presentation. Here tonight, representing Zanuck Ag Products, we've got uh, Scott Fries and our Lieutenant Governor, Steve Henry, from Owensboro. Who also with the presentation. Steve Bollinger, nice run, bud. Thanks. Congratulations. You got a big crowd of fans over here, man. Oh, I'll tell you, it's a last year we got first, this year second. It just can't be any better than that. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I told Wayne a while ago, the guys with the Allisons, they just made an excellent effort this year. You guys just get to pull them better all the time. Yeah. Well, Wayne, me and him have done a lot of telephone calling and he's helped me out since I got started probably twelve years ago and I'd like to thank him and my uh, pit man, Mike Lynch, and my family at Zeneca and the National Farmer Senior Show. It was it's great. It feels good. We'll see you Saturday night. Congratulations. Thanks. All right, Steve Bollinger, folks, right there from Stonington, Illinois. And once again, Scott Fries from Zeneca Ag Products and Lieutenant Governor Steve Henry. And uh, gets a trophy presentation there. And... Well, Wayne, you said something about Steve, but I don't know if you think you were counting on Brockman. Oh, I knew he was back there, too. He was, I, I know how good he runs. He did an excellent job tonight, but of course, uh, look at here, two Allison aircraft machines right here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're holding our own. I mean, uh, we're, we haven't won it yet, but we're working on it. Well, hang in there, and we'll see you Saturday night. Anybody you want to thank here tonight? Well, I thank the Farm Machinery Show, Zeneca, my pit crew, and all the people who came down with me, and Farm Machinery Show, they do a good job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Wayne Longnecker from Cambridge, Iowa. How about one more Chevrolet? All right. Up one right here, the Irish Challenger. Dan Walsh. Oh. And Dan shuts it off, I'll tell you. I don't exactly know what happened to the machine, but he got ready to go, and he shut her down real quick. So uh, he wants to drop, I think. He's going to drop, drop positions. And evidently they found a problem, and uh, he's going to drop positions, and we'll tow him on out of here. How about it, Ford fans and everybody in the Coliseum? Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Problems tonight for the Irish Challenger, but we'll get him taken care of. No doubt about it. Eight years old at the wheel of the Jamie's Revenge from Bardstown, Kentucky. Jamie's Revenge. Uh, 
Let's give Jamie a nice round of applause, folks. How about it? Jamie Manningly from Bardstown, Kentucky. Good run. Well, Frank Scott, jump right on in over there on the other side. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Frank, is it working? Well, thank you very much. Uh, sound man, turn Frank's mic on, if you will. It's, turn it up. Turn if my mic. will, please. It is up. Frank's is up. Okay. 8, 11, 228, 11 for Jamie Mattingly from Bardstown, Kentucky. All right, up next will be up and going, up and gone, Don Finney, Paris, Illinois. We're driving up and gone at this time, the Chevy S10. He bought this machine from the Long family. The Longs have uh, been pulled a long time and uh, <laughs> up and gone now on the starting line. This machine used to be known as Long Gone, but he has changed it. And the Long family out of uh, Glasgow, Kentucky were the owners of this machine. So let's see what happens now. Don Finney out of Paris, Illinois with up and gone. Up and gone, right there. Don Finney from Paris, Illinois. Take it, Frank. Go right ahead. Okay, thanks. Would it yield? Close enough. 11 pounds is the answer. Butch told me as long as they're within five pounds of the correct answer. Thank you very much for playing with it. Let's throw it back over to Butch. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, here's the Missouri Raider. On the starting line, it is Richard McPherson from Circleville, Ohio, with the Missouri Raider. Hey folks, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? The Missouri Raider. Dick McPherson and a great run. Here's your full distance for Don Finney. 200.96, 200.96 for Don Finney. 200.96. And we have the unofficial pull yet coming up for Richard McPherson. But he's in the sand pile. No doubt about it. The Missouri Raider, folks. Richard McPherson. Okay, Frank, you got one more to give away, or where you at? We have we have one more to give away, Butch. We're going to find someone with a souvenir program and somebody, hopefully, that's been studying their soybean ad. Okay. And the bulletproof machine comes to us. This is a brand new truck. They just built it last summer, and it made a few appearances around. But let's see. Here's your pull distance for Dick McPherson, 241.84. 241.84. 241.84 for Dick McPherson. 241.84.
the oh. rare breed Chevrolet coming on in here. Butch Krieger, I think I've got it about figured out. These magnetos on these hot rod engines here set up such a magnetic field and it knocks out my wireless microphone when I get very far away. So I believe that's what the problem is. It doesn't bother yours, but it bothers mine. Oh well. Well, the Magnetos do play havoc here, so here we go now with the Varner Brothers out of Midway, Kentucky, and the rare breed Chevrolet. Let's see what happens. Fired by Keith Black Hemi on board the machine. How about it, Chevy fans? Okay, we'll get the official distance now for Daryl Varner out of Midway, Kentucky in the rare breed Chevrolet. Okay, and the distance for Daryl Varner 208.40, 208.40 for Daryl Varner and Rare Breed. All right, we're going to set it at 240 feet for a full pull. 240 for a full pull. So at this point, we have one truck out the door, and that is the Missouri Raider with a full pull, so we're going to go 240 for a full pull here tonight. Hey, our thanks going out to the fine folks from John Deere. Quality, value, and commitment to agriculture. A way of life at John Deere. Looks like we've got another bow tie coming up. Chevrolet. And this is the hustler, Don Daffhorn. He's from Churubusco, Indiana. Churubusco, Indiana. As he comes to the line here tonight with a Chevrolet on a starting line. Scott had a little, uh, Frank had a little trouble with that Churubusco. That's just up near the uh, Fort Wayne area, up in that area, the Avila area of Indiana. It's a 1967 Chevrolet from Churubusco, Indiana. On the line right here. Don Daffhorn, the hustler. Okay. All right, folks, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Good run. It's a little bit light on the nose, but a nice run, folks, I'll tell you. He placed fourth in the state overall in points last year. Kurt Marling up next out of Zanesville, Ohio, with the boot scoot boogie coming in here. Here's the official distance now for Don Daffhorn. 205.56, 205.56 for the Hustler. All right, your leader continues to be Richard McPherson. He is over 241.84, second place. Jamie Mattingly, 228, 11. 
In the third spot, we have currently David Poor, 219.03. And on the bubble spot currently, it appears to be Daryl Varner at uh, 208.40. 208.40. So that's the top four for the transfer spot tomorrow night, or tonight for Saturday night. They, somebody's going to have to beat that 208 of Varner's to move up in there for Saturday night. So here we go now with the boot scoot and boogie. This guy's a surprise, boy. I'll tell you what, you never know what's going to happen in this truck. Or I should say car. Looks like a 27 Roadster as he comes in here on the line. The Boot Scoot Boogie, Kurt Marling, out of Ohio as he comes rolling in here tonight. Zanesville, Ohio. Whoa, good run for the Boot Scoot Boogie. Tell you what, that was a serious run there. He almost boot scooted right on out the front door there, didn't he? Yeah, it looks like we're going to make him a keeper, no doubt about it. We're going to put him over here with the boys. Take David Poor out of here. Now David Poor moves to the bump spot for tonight. David Poor's pull, 219.03. So he is goes to the bump as the boot scoot boogie moves either into the second or to the third position. Okay, here's the official distance now for Kurt Marling at 231.73, 231.73, and so far that's good enough for second place here tonight. So a good run for boot scootin' boogie. Shannon Leishner up next out of Weldon, Illinois in the Dirt Slinger. That guy's the 1995 Ohio State Tractor Puller Association, number one in points to two-wheel drive. Hey, we would like to welcome the Warren Central FFA from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Over 100 members from Warren Central. Mr. Stan Murphy and Mr. Charles Speck. Where are the folks from Warren Central FFA? All right, two or 323, okay. We'd also like to welcome the Cumberland FFA from Cumberland High School in Toledo, Illinois. They've got 32 members here tonight. Where are you fellas at, guys and girls? There you are, up here in 327. And we have the Franklin Simpson FFA. D.W. Wright, the uh, advisor, six members in section 307 tonight from the Franklin Simpson FFA right up there. 36 members here tonight from Heritage Hills, FFA from Lincoln City, Indiana. Where are you fellas and guys and girls at? All right, there you are down there in the, in the corner down there. Welcome to Freedom Hall. All right, here we go now on the line. It's Shannon Leishner from Weldon, Illinois with a Dirt Slinger 2 right here. His dad's already in the program for tomorrow night. Boy, this young man like to be too. Oh. Oh, man. Good run. He may have broke a coupler there. I don't know for sure, but, man, he had a good run going for the... Dirt Slinger 2 of Shannon Leishner out of Weldon, Illinois. Hey, let's give him a nice round of applause, folks. How about it? Shannon Leishner. It's the first time the kid has ever pulled indoors. How about that? Let's give him a nice round of applause. 
I tell you, Butch, Shannon really had it twisting coming down the stretch there. Well, now Jamie Mattingly leaves. He goes on the bubble next. He goes on the bubble here with Jamie's Revenge. And they're looking at Machine Over Dad. Bill Leisner out there looking things over. And uh, we'll see if we can find out if everything's okay or if they broke or exactly what happened to the machine here tonight. Okay, here's the official distance, 237.51. 237.51 for Shannon Lishner. Okay, are we all right? Now we buckled the frame. You buckled the frame, huh? I uh, see it's kind of going up like this. You're going to be able to fix it. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. She's, uh, it hurt it pretty bad. You'd say it's pulling pretty tough here at Louisville. Yeah, I'm telling you. Well, you're in there tomorrow night, and I know that young man, that son of yours, would sure like to be here tomorrow night too, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would. We'd hope we can get to finals and hope we can get it fixed. All right. The Leishner family out of Weldon, Illinois. Good run. 237 and 51. 237.51 and they buckled the frame on the machine. They literally buckled the frame. Okay, next up we have David Richardson out of Litchfield, Kentucky with Showtime. Six hundred forty cubic inch, Keith Black posting twenty one hundred horsepower. It's a nineteen ninety three S fifteen GMC. like to welcome the Swiss Hills Vocational School FFA here tonight. Gary Cook, Dean McCoy, they're now at section 322. Welcome to Freedom Hall tonight. Well, the young Leisner has really done some damage to the vehicle. Getting set to go now, Showtime, out of Litchfield, Kentucky, David Richardson. Yeah, it's a brand new truck. This will be the first truck on this truck, brand new. He has his other Showtime truck, and it's not no longer called Showtime. They've changed the name to the Bad Boy. That's what the name of it. His son Chase named this truck. They call it Bad Boy, and evidently the bugs have not been worked out of David Richardson's truck here tonight. And going to be some problems with the Bad Boy. Wrights FFA. Joseph Francis Wrights High School. All right. All right, we've got flashback up next. This will be Jeff Hupp. Jeff Hupp from Alberton, Pennsylvania. And flashback on the starting line. Jeff Hupp. Your leader continues to be D Dick McPherson and the Missouri Raider. Second place, Shannon Leishner. And third currently is the Kurt Marling boot scootin' boogie. And on the bubble is Jamie Mattingly and Jamie's Revenge at 228. Those are your top four trucks here tonight. Okay, and the course is clear. Jeff Huff, 
And flashback from Alberton, Pennsylvania. Hey, we'd like to welcome our uh, friends from Rooster County, FFA, Terry Rotzinger. And they're from Ketta, looks like Ketta, Iowa. There's 35 members here, Rooster County FFA. Where are you at? Welcome to Freedom Hall. Hey, we'd like to welcome the Wild Thing Pulling Team from Door, Michigan and Suite 2D. 50 members up there from the Wild Thing Pulling Team from Door, Michigan. We have 40 members and guests present tonight from Warren County FFA in Tennessee, up in Section 315, the 25th straight year they've been attending. Here's the official distance now for Jeff Huff, a 221.08, 221.08 for Jeff Huff. And Okay, next up from Warsaw, Kentucky, and the Young Gun, here's Donnie Sullivan. Young Gun is a 1991 S10 Chevy. 2,000 horsepower. out of Warsaw, Kentucky. All right, here we go now. The Young Gun, the Sullivans, Donnie Sullivan at the wheel tonight. This is a tough customer sometimes, folks, I'll tell you. you got to watch him. Now, the Sullivans will pull it out of the back of their pocket. Here we go, the young gun. Keep it buried regardless of what happens there. Yes, siree. Keep her flying. I think a lot of oil come out and got the headers is what happened, and uh, everything seems to be okay, though. But the young gun of Donnie Sullivan from Warsaw, Kentucky, is right there. Went uh, a, lot of, a lot of smoke and steam out of that one. Might call that one up in smoke. <laughs> okay. We have got the situation here up coming up next with uh, Sabrina Stockett. And I'll tell you what, folks, you're going to want to watch this young lady. She is tough from Lothian, Maryland. And I think that Sabrina is a senior in high school, young girl. She started driving when she was 16 years old. And she was third last year on Friday night and fifth on Saturday night with her machine. Here's the official distance now for Donnie Sullivan is 225.32, 225.32 for Donnie Sullivan and the Young Good. Sabrina Stockett out of Wathonia, Maryland. The meat wagon, the second, ready to go. So here we go, Sabrina Stockett and the Stockett's Rocket. The meat wagon, number two, on the line right here. Let's see what Sabrina does. It's a C-cab. 
This young lady knows how to drive, folks, I'll tell you. From Lothian, Maryland, on the line. Has detonated right there, folks. Let's give her a nice round of applause. How about it? Sabrina Stockett, folks. And man, it detonated too, I'll tell you. I think the blower may have popped on it. I'm not for sure. Look things over here. But right there for Sabrina Stockett, folks. Kind of a scary situation there. A little flashback, real quick. Well, it's tough luck for Sabrina Stockett, folks. I'll tell you that. I've seen her pull a lot, much, much better than that. That's no doubt about it. Sabrina Stockett and Stockett's Rockets, the meat wagon, too. Okay, here's the official distance, 187.90. 187.90 for Sabrina Stockett. Well, here he comes. The old man of the class. Boy, if you give me for saying that, I'll tell you. John Heilman from Rockford, Ohio. Hey, John has sold his tractor and he has kept his two-wheeler though. And he continues to pull with the Golden Thunder machine. John Heilman out of Rockford, Ohio as he comes to the line. On deck will be Jimmy Johnson from Charlotte, North Carolina in tea time. And in the hole will be Wayne Roush from Dublin, Ohio. We have one truck out the door. And that is the Missouri Raider. One truck with a full pull. So here we go. John Heilman, Rockford, Ohio. John Heilman, ready to go. Rockford, Ohio's John Heilman shutting down the machine. Golden Thunder. And we'll get the official distance here in just a few moments. And the distance is 215.90. 215.90 for John Heilman and Golden Thunder. Okay, next up from Charlotte, North Carolina, Tea Time and Jimmy Johnson. Here's Jimmy Johnson now, Tea Time on the line, the Tea Time machine out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, Butch, I tell you what, before. Before it gets too late on us, we do want to remind the folks that, that we hope that they'll uh, join us tomorrow. So our special matinee begins at 1 p.m. and our finals competitions begin at 7 p.m. So we want to invite the folks back tomorrow here at Freedom Hall.
Charlotte, North Carolina's Jimmy Johnson in tea time. Ready to rumble here tonight in Freedom Hall. For the 1996 championship tractor pull. Well, having some fuel problems and uh, just uh, just couldn't get the fuel mixture right, apparently, to get her here and uh, just not hitting right. A lot of blow-by on that engine of Jimmy Johnson and the, uh, the T-man right there. Tough luck for the tea time Just a little bit, a little bit of problems with that fuel, I think, that time. Let's give a nice round of applause, folks. How about it? Jimmy Johnson all the way from Charlotte, North Carolina, and tea time. All right, we are down to the nitty-gritty now. Wayne Roush, last night's winner. The doctor is in, Wayne Roush. He was your big winner last night, and uh, he'll be out with his yellow tea. And uh, then we'll have Ricky Long with Willie Makett from Glasgow, Kentucky. And then we've got Dan Walsh and his challenger yet to come. Okay, here's the distance for Jimmy Johnson in tea time. 187.23. 187.23 for Jimmy Johnson. Wayne Roush up next. Dublin, Ohio, the yellow model T. And we'd like to welcome the Allen County FFA and Farrell Oliver, thanks to Mr. Oliver for all his hard work from the FFA. Allen County FFA here tonight. go he's gonna go for two wins in a row here in Freedom Hall last night's winner Wayne Roush out of Dublin Ohio the yellow model T he did it with a little red truck last night so we'll see if we can go two for two here in Freedom Hall two in a row can he do it how many think he can do it well we're gonna find out here He drove a Dodge last night, wasn't it? And driving a Ford tonight. May win with a Chevrolet tomorrow. You never know, huh? The course is clear. Let's see what he's got. right there for Wayne Roush. Let's give him a nice round of applause, folks. How about it? The Dr. Wayne Roush, that is. Former professor at the Ohio State University. He gave it all up, folks, and became a full-time truck puller several years ago. And at one time, he was, though, a professor of agriculture up in uh, Ohio. He also had a big farm. He got rid of all his farming operation, rents all the farming out. And Strictly is a puller now all over the country, him and his wife, Joe. Okay, here's the distance now for Wayne Roush. 227.73, 227.73 for Wayne Roush in the yellow Model T. Well, I have always liked this truck when uh, Billy Johns owned it years ago, and now the Long family has it. It's called Willie Make It. And it's a Willie's pick em up truck, and we absolutely love it. Powered by a blowing Arius engine. And this truck is one tough cookie. This is another one. you got to watch, I'll tell you. He can just unload on you on a Saturday night and go to town. Willie, make it. 
illustrated by Bet E. Don't as he comes to the line right now. The 41 Willies pick'em up truck. Guy by the name of Tommy Brewer in Bardstown, Kentucky, owned this at one time. And uh, Billy Johns bought it from him and did the truck. And then uh, later on, it was purchased by the Long family. So here we go with Ricky Long out of Glasgow, Kentucky. Okay, it looks like the course is clear. Ricky Long out of Glasgow, Kentucky. Got one more to go. Okay, one more to go, and that will be the Irish challenger of the Walsh family. One more machine here to go. Okay, and the official distance now for Ricky Long, 232.40, and we understand he's taking over third place with that pull. 232.40, Ricky Long, and will he make it? Well, the bubble spot now goes to the boot scoot boogie with one truck to go, the Irish Challenger. As we see, they have kept Ricky Long, whose pull was 232 and 40. So they've got him and one truck to go. So it's all the marbles here, folks, for the Irish Challenger to get into the program tomorrow night. He's got to get to one of the top four spots. And I'm sure he'd like to go to the sand and make a full pull as Willie Make It has moved into the number three spot now. Kurt Marling just went out the door. He is on the bubble. Well, folks, that will conclude it here tonight. We certainly appreciate your participation here. And we hope that you've enjoyed the program. Don't forget tomorrow afternoon, 1 o'clock, competition once again here at Freedom Hall. Tomorrow night, the championship night at 7.30. Please be careful going home. If you'd like to stick around for the final awards presentations, we'd really ask you to do that. Otherwise, please be careful driving home. Have a pleasant evening, what's left of it. Don't party too hardy, and we'll see you here tomorrow afternoon. We'll get the pull distance here now for Dan Walsh and the Irish Challenger. 
Hey, our friends from Zeneca Agricultural Products have made it possible to improve our show, both for our audience and our drivers. And we now offer over $160,000 in prize money and awards. Our thanks again going out to Zeneca Ag Products. Here's the distance, 228.02 for Dan Walsh. 228.02 for Dan Walsh and the Irish Challenger. We'll take a look at the top 10, actually positions 4 through 10, and we'll have the official trophy presentation down track side with Butch Krieger here in just a few moments. Okay, presentation's coming forth, and our trophy presentation this evening, representing the uh, Zeneca Egg Products, will be Mr. Don McGahan, and uh, our, we're fortunate also tonight to have our Commissioner of Agriculture for the State of Kentucky, Mr. Billy Ray Smith, and he also will be helping out with the trophy presentations as we head on down here to see Dick McPherson. Let's take a look at the top ten now. David Poor finishes up at tenth. Jeff Huff in, car in the uh, number nine position. And then finishing up at eight, Donnie Sullivan. Finishing up at seventh, it was Wayne Roush. And then a good run for Dan Walsh, who wound up at sixth place tonight. Fifth going out to Jamie Mattingly. And then finishing up at fourth, it was uh, Kurt Marlin. So let's look at the positions four through ten. Butch Krieger will be down trackside with the official trophy presentation to the top three in our final class for this evening. Once again, fans, come on out tomorrow night for the championships. Well, we can get McPherson here. And he is a big winner tonight. The big old Oldsmobile engine on board here with the backman heads. Congratulations, Dick. Nice run. Uh, thank you. I'd like to thank everybody here for the nice show they put on and uh, having the opportunity to come back year after year and pull here is just great. Well, I know you've had some, uh, last year wasn't so good for you, but you've made it here tonight, and uh, let's hope uh, things are going to be here tomorrow night. This might be McPherson's year. Oh, yeah, we had our problems last year, and I tried to, uh, after we ran at uh, Charleston, West Virginia last week, or week four last, just for tests and tune more or less, and we went home, we put everything back in new again that we thought could possibly go wrong. Anybody you'd like to thank while you're here? Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank Zanneker for all the, all the fine products they put in, and uh, we have to use them on a home on the farm to, or we wouldn't be here. That's what they like to hear, your friends from Zeneca. He uses your products on the farm. Let's give him a nice round of applause, folks. How about it? Rich McPherson and our trophy presenters here once again, Billy Ray Smith, Commissioner of Agriculture for the State of Kentucky, and Don Mayagan, ladies and gentlemen, from the friends at Zeneca Ag Products. Shannon, what are we going to do with you, man? I don't know. See if we can get her put back together, maybe, for tomorrow. Yeah, have you got the equipment to do it here? You got some friends say they'll help you out? Do you need a garage? What do you need? Probably a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Well, hopefully you will be back tomorrow night. If not, though, you put one whale of a show on for the people. Yeah, thank you. I want to thank Trishler Seed up there, Julie. Thank you. I want to thank Zeneca, Walsh Brothers, Terry Benson, everybody back home for helping. Just everybody down here. This could, this has never been something better. Okay. Congratulations. Never lost for words like his father here, right here. Congratulations to Shannon Leisner, folks, from Weldon, Illinois. An excellent run. Once again, our trophy presenters here, uh, Commissioner of Agriculture, Billy Ray Smith, and Don McGahan from the Zeneca Ag Products. Congratulations there, Ricky Long. You coming back on Saturday night? You got a motel room tomorrow night, buddy boy? I will probably drive back home, but we'll be back for sure. That's good. Now, what's your brother doing? Where's his trucks? Well, when he didn't get in the farm show, he kind of went pulling where he could, so he took off and left me here.